Hey, good afternoon. Have you ever noticed that when you're starting something, it takes a little bit more effort? Thinking about coming out of an intersection as your car has to start in a lower gear. That's what the lower gears are there for, is to get started. Or having to start pedaling a bike in order before you get moving all the way, the effort it takes to build up into getting going. And for some reason, getting started is more difficult than continuing to go forward. Well, the science nerd in me always gets excited to be able to see where one set of things overlaps and applies to a completely unrelated thing. And the first thing that pops into my head is Newton's first law of motion, that an object that is in motion tends to stay in motion, and an object that is not in motion tends to not be in motion and that it's easier to maintain those two different states. It's easier to not be in motion than it is to get something started. And the corollary to that is, is that it then takes more effort to get started. This happens not just in physics and in moving bicycles or cars or rockets off of launch pads, but also in all of the other aspects of our lives. It has come up frequently in coaching sessions recently talking about why is it so difficult to get something started. A new business, a new project, a tough conversation, all talking about why is it so difficult and why does it take more effort to get something going than once you're already involved. Getting my um, shoes on and the bike out and getting on the bike ride is more difficult than once I'm on the bike ride and already there and going. I journal a lot and sitting down and looking at my journals over the years, I've probably written over a hundred times the observation that it is difficult to start writing. And frequently I will sit in pause in front of the piece of paper in the journal and not be able to write. But once I get the pen on the paper and start writing something, I'll write pages and pages in the journal afterwards. It makes sense from a physics standpoint that it requires more force, more effort, more energy to get something started than it does to maintain it. And this applies to all the aspects of our lives, intellectually, emotionally, relationally, spiritually, physically, all the different domains of your life are impacted by this same premise, that it takes more effort to get something started. Where is it in your life that you are hitting that first hurdle, that getting the rock out of the ground and rolling is more difficult than rolling the rock across the ground? Where is it that you need the extra effort? And then what becomes, the, what's the tool to use in terms of getting that extra effort going? For most of my coaching clients, it ends up being seeing the vision of what they want to happen beyond just getting started and wanting it bad enough to be willing to create that initial effort to start. Take some time and think about this. Where is it that you encounter those blocks, those initial hurdles that require an extra effort to get up and over to then have momentum, to then have inertia to carry you forward? And what do you need in order to motivate yourself and hold yourself accountable for simply just putting the shoes on and going, or starting the conversation, or getting out of the car to go talk to a potential client, where you can then have the momentum on the other side, and how will you remind yourself that that momentum is there once you get beyond that first hurdle? Take some time and think about it. I'd be happy to help make those observations and find ways for you to create your own mechanism for getting over that hurdle, but please feel free to comment. Please feel free to ask any questions. I'd be happy to continue that conversation. I'm John Rhodes. This is Rhodes Life Coaching. I hope you're able to find purpose and meaning in your daily life.